Welcome everyone. In this tutorial we are going to develop an algorithm to calculate a slope in uh, Java. We'll first develop this algorithm mathematically and then we'll use the algorithm in a program for a ski slope. Alright, so let's get started. If you don't have Dr. Java open, go ahead and open Dr. Java and bring it up. Move your arrow over the pane at the bottom to drag it up. We're going to need more space down here in our interactions pane. Then click the interactions pane. So you can see that by this example right here, it is an example of a slope. And the slope is calculated by two positions, x1, y1, and x2, I mean, and y2. The mathematical formula for calculating slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this example, the first point is 5 for x1 and y1 is 10. And the second point, the x2 is 10 and the y2 is 20. So now all we have to do is plug these in to calculate our slope, which is 2. And in this example, the units are centimeters over seconds. So let's do this in Dr. Java. And this involves some what we call variable assignment, which you should have read about in Chapter 2. So we'll create a variable for slope and we're going to create them as doubles because we might want to deal with decimal points. So we'll say double slope is equal to 0, 0.0 and in semicolon. And then we need to set up a variable for each of our x's and each of our y's. So we'll say double x1 is equal to 0, 0.0 and we'll say double x2 is equal to 0, 0.0 and we'll say double y1 is equal to 0, 0.0 and double y2 is equal to 0, 0.0. So now we have created a name for each of our variables and we have used the equal sign to assign each of our variables an initial value of 0. So now what we need to do is uh, reassign the values from our example of our slope. So we'll say, we'll go back and say double slope and we'll still set it to 0, 0.0 for right now. Then we'll say double x1 is equal to, and we'll go back and look at our example and our x1 is equal to 5 and our y1 is equal to 10. So let's go back to Dr. Java and we'll say x1 is equal to 5.0 and double y1 is equal to 10.0. Then let's go look at the second set of values in our example. x2 is 10 and y2 is 20. Let's go to Dr. Java and change those values. So we'll say double x2 is equal to 10.0 and double y2 is equal to 20.0. Now that we've assigned each of our variables a particular value, we can calculate the slope. So all we do is say slope is equal to y, we need to use a parenthesis for precedence, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we can just use these, va we can just use the names of each of our variables because we've already assigned each of them a mathematical value. Now we need to end our statement in a semicolon and hit enter. 
Now notice it did not print out the slope. Remember from your reading that we need to use system.out.print in order to print out the value of our slope. So we'll type in system.out.print ln for print line and then we want to print out slope the variable slope and we'll end in a semicolon and you can see our slope is 2.0 so go ahead and try assigning um, x1, x2, y1 and y2 some different variables which are point values which are points on the graph and seeing what kind of slope that you get and this is all for this little tutorial on slope. Next time we will be building a cl class for sl that will calculate slope that we'll then use in a ski slope program. Have a good day.